My son Rory and I are going to show you how to detail your stove for wife A who works really hard and pays bills and doesn't have a lot of money or wife B that's financially set and likes to buy a lot of things and drain your bank account. Um, we're going to show you how to put it back into shape where it's looking good. So what we started with is taking the greaser and cleaning the top of the stove the best we could besides the build up around the burners where the burners go as you can tell. We took uh, the burner plates out and the burners and we got them soaking in the sink. This is pretty much what they look like before. They're all dirty and build up and everything. We took some cutting pound, compound and then uh, some polymer sealant and uh, polished this out at about 1000 RPMs. Uh, used a little bit of 320 wet sand on the bottom to get it a little cleaned out the best we could. Um, got it shined back up in decent condition. Now uh, I'm going to hand the phone over to Rory here while he explain to you how to polish out the stove. Um, you got some buildup around the burners right here. Um, you got some scratches in the middle and stuff. It uh, looks pretty gloomy. What we're going to do is we're going to take some cutting compound here and uh, we're going to put it evenly over half the stove at a time because it dries pretty quick and you don't want to polish while you're dry while it's dry it's not really doing a lot of work what it needs to be doing you want to polish it while it's uh, moist and, and able to cut so we're going to do that half here first I'm going to turn your polisher on this is a polish you can get at Harbor Freight. It goes up to 3200 RPMs. I'm going to start out with cutting at 1000 RPMs. Um, uh, you want to be careful and watch the edges. This machine does not have any trigger. It's just got an on off button. If it gets jerked out of your hand, it's going to keep running wherever it goes. So we're going to go around the burners here and get all that build up get rid of all of it. Try to. Okay. Um, oh, see, I almost jerked and caught that. You gotta be careful. Okay, we got that burner done. We're gonna go on the edge now and get all that cleaned up and shined. Okay. Little, little spot right there we didn't get. Okay, on to the neck. Got a little build up along here we want to get rid of. Okay, we'll go back around this edge. Okay. So, got that pretty much under control. Now we're going to go over here to the middle, a little more open over here. We're going to try to get rid of some scratch if you want to jump it up to about 1500 RPMs. Go a little slower, put down a little bit of pressure. We're about good Go along the front of it. Okay. Now we're going to stop. Put a little product on the pad. Go to this other half. Go around the burner edge there quite a bit so you can cut. Go around the seam right there, the edge of it. Burners. Okay. Well, do the finish up this other half. Start out at 1000 RPM. Go around and get up all, get all the build up. Cut it all off. Now keep in mind, I've already taken a scrub pad and scrubbed this um, to the best ability without scratching and, and ruining the black finish before we started polishing. This is what I couldn't get off with a scrub pad without ruining it. Okay, we're on the second burner right here, make sure it's good and cleaned up. Alright, so now, the 
this edge right here. And watch that cord, you don't want to get it caught up. You don't have a heck of a mess. Go in the corner right there. That seemed good. Okay, yeah, got that good. Jump it up to 15 in the middle. Remove all the scratches. Now we're going to take a microfiber. We're going to wipe it all off and inspect our work. Make sure we didn't miss anything. Now we still have a little bit of buildup right around the edge of these where the burner cups go. And you got to remember, you got about a sixteenth of an inch overlap, so we're good to go right there. I don't think you're going to see anything. Um, but all the areas that are exposed except for this little area right here is good to go and we'll get that real quick okay now what we're going to do is i got a mixture of 50 50 uh 50 percent polish a mild polish and then 50 percent sealant we're going to put that on here real quick and apply it fairly fast. Basically all you're doing is getting the real light surface scratches and sealing everything. Um, pretty much making it easier to clean in the future. Now remember how I said you don't want to sling it everywhere. you got to handle that disc just right. Or you're going to get it in the scooter you're cooking right next to it. Your wife don't want to uh, seal it in the screws, so you gotta be careful. I'm gonna jump this up to 2,000 RPM. And we're gonna warm it up so it goes into the pores of the paint on the stove. And then you get a shine. This is what's gonna give you a gloss. Okay, now we're going to come up here to the top. I'm going to turn this off for a sec. And we're going to polish around the face of this real quick. This is real soft plastic, so you don't want to apply any pressure. And you just want to do it really quick at about 1,000 RPMs. You want to rub some of that sealing in your pad so you don't sling it all over the ceiling. And we'll turn it on real slow here while it's already touching. Okay, we're just real gentle, real quick. We we'll pull scratches out of this fairly easy. Back in the top shape, no problem. Okay, we'll get the screen here. Get that nice and clean and polished up. Okay, top. Here, you can turn this side. Now you don't want to get those studs right there, you're going to end up buying parts. So, you got to be real careful when you're going around them. Going in between them. You got a little on and off switch for the oven light here, you got to go around and be careful. A little simmer select switch, you got to go around. Okay, hit the top of it. On the edge of it here. We'll should be about done. Then we're gonna go in the front here real quick and hit it. It's a little stainless. So what we're gonna do over here 
on the stainless is we're going to use a little Teflon sealant. Teflon sealant is a little different character than polymer. Um, it's a little stronger. It works a little hard, different. It's about a thousand RPM. We're going to run it just go over it really fairly quick. You're just getting it into the pores is all you're really doing. Okay, we'll run up here. Now we're going to get underneath the handle carefully. Get it on top right here. Yeah, in order to hit the window real quick. This stuff will shine up the glass. No problem. Okay. So, I'm going to go to the bottom section here and run over it fairly quick. Okay, I'm going to do the top of that handle, get it nice and shiny. Now you're going to go on the bottom part of the drawer here. This is the part where you got to be careful of your cord. Okay, so you just go underneath there like this. Go underneath the handle carefully. See how it almost caught and sucked me up under there? You just gotta be really paying attention, man. You're gonna be buying a new stove instead of fixing it. Okay. I think that's about it. Hit the top of this handle here real fast. Maybe the face of it. Okay, let's uh, wipe it off with a cherry cloth and uh, microfiber and see what we got for a finished product here. done here. Got cleaned off real good. Let's see here. Uh, there we go. That's off. We're good there. Okay, so we got uh, tops looking pretty good. About top shape there, getting it back to the nice shine that it had brand new. Um, a lot of gloss depth in the gloss. That's what uh, wives like. Shows that the products in their house are nice and shiny and clean. So that took us about 30 minutes here so far into this. counting uh, putting the burners in the sink and the, the bowls for the burners that go underneath the burners there and getting them scrubbed and cleaning the top of the stove off with the greaser before we started this video so there's the finished product then we'll have uh, the polished uh, bowls for the uh, stove here where the burners go after we're done, I'll pull the burner out here real quick and dry it off. 